Okay, hey guys. For this video, I'm going to explain how to do Tempo of Disaster normal mode. I made a PDF just like I did for ES, so if you want it and you want to look over it, just send me an email and I will send it to you. Okay, right here, this is Charlotte and this is Com the main boss and Charlotte's the side boss. A lot of groups have different strategies for uh, beating Todd, but this is the one I like best. Okay, we are gonna divide Todd into different phases. There's about four phases. Phase one, you need three tanks to do Todd, well, at least three. Um, high HP is, is definitely something that they need to have over a hundred. Okay, first tank is gonna off tank Charlotte to the left side all the way to the wall. The uh, Charlotte and Com need to be separated, otherwise she hits harder and it just ends up badly when they're together. The second and third tanks, they are going to switch aggro on com and it looks like I spelled his name wrong the tanks will end up getting debuffs once they get two that's where you need to use the the decide license to get aggro and hopefully if you do it fast enough you'll just save the previous tank otherwise the tanks are going to start dying if you don't switch aggro You get that item from Morin when you first walk into the the instance. Okay, phase two. This is where the bats come in. The bats kidnap members. You need to use the salvation trinket to rescue them. The bats end up flying them around the room until they die. So unless someone brings them down, they're they're going to eventually die up there. Around this phase, everyone needs to start spreading out because the lasers are about to start, and that's phase three. The lasers are single target. So uh, the, the more spread out everyone is, the less likely, likely people are gonna die from these lasers. If someone gets hit by the laser, everyone else around them needs to move away that person should not move otherwise the laser is going to hit everyone after three lasers the main boss does a huge AOE he drags everyone to him and then you have about five seconds to run before he attacks if you are close to him you're most likely going to die you need to be really far away for, for that AOE to not kill you so as soon as you get pulled in, you need to run. Like there's you do, there's no thinking time. You just need to run. Okay, phase four. This is where the trees come in. There's gonna be trees popping up and they're gonna capture your teammates. So the aliens need to kill the trees fast before they capture your tank or they catch capture your heels. Because once you're captured, you can't really do anything. And there's going to be green exploding gas around this time as well. So you need to stay away from them. They uh, end up giving you a debuff if you get caught in one. And one of the most annoying parts is the highest HP debuff. This is around the end. This starts happening around like 40% left on the boss. The teammate with the highest HP will get heals equals damage debuff. So you can't heal them during that time or, or they're going to die. So that's pretty much it for Todd. Depending on how long it takes uh, your team to kill the main boss depends on how many times you're going to go through these phases. Phase 2 and Phase 3 and Phase four, they go like right after 
the other. So once phase four is done, you go back to phase phase three with the lasers and the bats. So the faster you kill the main boss, the the better it is. It's recommended to have higher than 60k HP for Todd, unless your tank it's better to have over 90k healers again over 90 for them as well and that's pretty much it for all the tips uh, the second strategy most uh, some of the goats have is to kill Charlotte first and then go after the main boss but the problem with that is if you don't have enough DPS to kill her at 3% she starts to heal herself and that's just a big waste of time if you don't have the kind of party that's built for that that's not a strategy you should use and I hope that helped I will record Todd again from a different perspective I know I have a recording of Todd up already on my channel but it's more from a healer perspective and I'm just he side healing one of the tanks. So I'll do a new recording where you get to see more of the stuff that happens in Todd. And hopefully I'll have that up soon. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped.